Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to add different upgrades to your clicker game. Look, I can buy this hat and I can buy these sunglasses for my George Washington. So let's get started. To start off, I would recommend watching the first video in this series. It's really quick, just how to make the simplest form of a clicker game. Now today we're going to be adding in upgrades and I'm going to create two upgrades, which are going to be adding glasses to our bill and adding a hat. This code might look really complicated to begin with, but it's made so that you can add as many accessories as you want. So stay with me. So last time we created our bill as an image and we created our counter text. We also created a script called update money. Today we're going to get into setting up our accessories. First, I created an empty game object called buttons. You can do this by right clicking, creating an empty, and then I called mine buttons. So I'm just going to delete my example one. Inside buttons, it was empty. I then created two buttons, as you'll call it. Right click, UI, button text mesh pro. I created one for my glasses and one for my hat. Here in glasses, let's say, I added my glasses sprite. So again, sprites, you can just drag and drop into Unity, make sure to change them to uh, sprite. Sometimes it'll be default, sometimes they'll automatically be sprite. If you do make changes, make sure to click apply. And then for hat, I did the same thing. I dragged my image of hat right into the source image and there was my button. Now, because when we begin the game, you don't wanna be able to buy these immediately. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check off when you create a button, it's gonna say interactable so that you can click the button. We're gonna uncheck that. So make sure to uncheck interactable for both buttons. Now I have my buttons correctly sized where I want them above my bill. Next, we're gonna create the images that we want to appear when we buy our accessories. So to do that, I created another empty game object. You can right click, create empty. And then inside of that, I call it accessories. I created two images. You can do that by right clicking, UI, image. So I have them disabled because we don't want to have them on when we begin because we need to buy them. First, I would position them so that you can see them. And for each of the image, make sure you're again assigning the correct sprite. So for glasses, I dragged and dropped my sunglasses into the source image. And then same for hat, drag and drop. Once you finish positioning it, again, make sure to disable both of these so that you can't see them. Now that's pretty much the setup for inside of Unity. Then we need to go to our script. So you should already have a script from our first action in our first video. If not, you can right click, create C sharp script. I titled mine update money. So last time you might have the TMP pro if you are using a text mesh. Otherwise, you will not need that. But either way, we need this line five using Unity Engine UI. That's gonna allow us to change a button. And so nine and 10 were from previous video. And here is where we get into the little bit of the complicated part. So first, we're gonna wanna be able to access the accessories. So this game object with all of our images, we're gonna wanna be able to access that. So we're creating a public game object. Now we're creating three different lists right over here called prices, wearing, and buttons. Prices is just gonna store the price that we want for each item. Then wearing is just gonna say whether we've already bought the item. And buttons is just gonna keep track of which buttons are on and off. So in our start, we're, we first need to initialize the array. So essentially give it some information. So first we say exactly how many prices we're gonna have. So in this case, we have the hat and the glasses. So my number is two. If I had, let's say five accessories, this should be five. And that's the same thing for wearing. This should also be five then if, so these two numbers should correspond. Now we need to set the prices. In this case, I'm setting my sunglasses to 10 and I'm setting my hat to 17. So when we start with indexes, we start at zero and we go up from there. So technically the first item is gonna be index zero. Again, this is in the start method. So this happens before we even start adding money. Now in our update, this is essentially going to check every frame. What we're doing here is we're creating a loop. And this loop is going to check that we have enough money 
to buy the item and that we're not we haven't already bought the item then it will allow us to turn on the button and buy the item so this is going to happen for every single one so in this case this loop is going to run twice once to check if sunglasses should be on and once to check if hat's going to be on and then if both of those requirements are met then you cannot buy them now this method is going to be the same as before so that doesn't change now we're going to create a new method i'm calling it buy and it's going to take an input of a num i'm saying so it's an integer input and this means that when we click on our button it's gonna run this method and we have to give it some number first it's going to subtract the amount that the item costs then what we're going to do is we're going to get the child of accessories so we're going to get the image in accessories so whichever one that corresponds to the number and we're going to turn it on so we're going to set it active then we are going to say that wearing is true so we're keeping track of it right our boolean and then we're going to update our money now this is going to be a little complicated but let's save the script and hopefully it's going to make a lot more sense soon now when we go back to our buttons we need to add these methods so first we're going to do open our buttons back up i'm going to go to glasses i'm going to scroll down and on click you're going to click the plus button there should be nothing listed you're going to select where our script is assigned and that was the canvas and then you're going to in terms of function you're going to find the script update money and then you're going to go to buy now in this case because glasses is considered the zeroth index i want to give it an input of zero and for the same reason, that's why in hat, we have it as one because it's the second thing or the index number one. So this is the same thing where I did, I just chose scene, I chose my canvas, update money, buy, and then I changed this to a one. So I'm gonna delete it because I already had it. Now we have to go to the canvas and we're going to tell it what accessories is so to do that you can drag and drop accessories here and then in buttons when you first create it input the number of buttons you want in this case we want two buttons for our two items bam two and then we just had to drag and drop each of our buttons now we're all set to play and i can click my money once I reach 10, it allows me to buy the sunglasses. Once I reach 17, it allows me to buy the hat. So let's say if I buy the hat, I can obviously no longer buy it twice. I can also don't have enough money for the sunglasses. And then if I reach 10 again, I can now buy the sunglasses. But even if I get to 17, it's not going to allow me to buy the hat because I already have it. And I can buy my sunglasses. And then hypothetically, if I had more and more upgrades that I wanted to add, I can continue adding them. So I hope that's clear. Again, my example only has two, but this structure allows you to add dozens of different upgrades to your game. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you can implement these skills into your own project.